Okay, we just unloaded the, med the medicine in Pistol Hospital where already seven are dead from cholera and it's breaking out in various co uh, locations and there's seven with active uh, cholera right now. Dr. Phillip expects a major flu epidemic followed by malaria epidemic very soon. These medicines are our life right here and we have to keep them coming. We want to thank uh, everyone who, who donated because these came from the United States, the donations came from the United States and uh, we were able to purchase to uh, partner organizations also in the uh, Dominican Republic, Port-au-Prince, uh, Jeremy, Okai, everywhere we could find medicines. Here we have so many uh, uh, IV, we have IV fluids, we have Cipro, we've got a cold medicine and cough, we've got all, uh, various antibiotics to combat uh, uh, so much disease and so much sickness here. But when you see the widespread, believe me, we're going to need to keep Dr. Uh, Philip flowing with medicines here. But what a great start. We want to thank everyone so much for the donations that has come from the U.S. because this is life right now and people are very very sick. You can see right here this is the pharmacy of the hospital, the only hospital for 120,000 people. This is the pharmacy. Can you imagine Dr. Philip having so much upon him with so many sick people people with broken legs and arms and wounds and this is what you come into. This is what he has fought for years and it's, we try to keep something coming to him monthly but with, with the vast population here, this is, this is absolute a shame for uh, the only functioning hospital to be barren like this and he is so grateful because lives are being saved because of those that are giving. We just need to keep it coming and uh, trust God to make this into a real hospital one day that can function for the multitudes of people in this area that have nothing else to go to.